What up ladies and gents, this is going to be a quick video because Blizzard just announced that they are going to be dropping the classic hardcore servers and have announced the rule set. This kind of gives us a little bit more info about how the, the classic hardcore server is going to look like in comparison to kind of what we've got at the moment with the add-on and how it's going to play out. So first of all, death is death, which we kind of took as a given. But what they've said is you will basically be given the option to transfer your character off onto another server. So you can still play it on another server, but not on the hardcore server anymore, which I think is fine. You're not, you're not completely wasting your time, but also anyone that's actually serious about hardcore obviously probably won't play that character anymore on another realm. Uh, but I think that's fine. Uh, next thing is the PvP flagging. So obviously there's loads of griefing of people pretending to be mobs, standing in stealth on mobs, that kind of thing to try and get you to... To, to click on them to flag you so that essentially is not going to be possible anymore you're going to have to type slash pvp if you want to even attack another player a uh, battleground is going to be disabled i think in general the pvp stuff is is fine you know I, I think that this is not really part of what classic hardcore entails okay people enjoy griefing and that kind of thing but i think the majority of the people that are playing hardcore aren't really interested in this so i think taking this out is fine uh battlegrounds as well it's it gets a bit tricky uh muddies the waters a little bit when you add battlegrounds into the mix you know is a death a death how are people going to play i think it says something about the people being overly defensive that kind of stuff so i think disabling battlegrounds is is fine uh they do still have the option for war games and you can still die in war games which is spicy so maybe we'll see some crazy crazy war game stuff i i don't think there's going to be too much of that quests that also flag you so like the the missing diplomat and stuff like that are not going to flag you anymore which i also think is fine it's really not made very clear in in the quest log itself that this is actually going to flag you so people doing that and then getting killed is just unfortunate to be honest i think that's fine that they're taking that out uh it seems like they're taking quite a hard stance on just griefing stuff overall and they're, they're trying to focus more on the pve side of things rather than the pvp side of things and i've got a, a thought on that which I'll, I'll mention a little bit later towards the end of the video because i actually think it's it could be really fun i think focusing more on the pve side of things is is good uh and and removing some of the griefing it does take away a little bit of of sort of that risk that you have while playing hardcore you know that constant fear in the back of your mind that you know anything could happen uh it, it's it, it feels like you're being a little bit more more molly coddled so to speak i think but i think overall it's not a bad change as long as you know uh so yeah again leashing is just more more griefing taken out you can't leash past the edge of a zone or something anymore they're talking about griefing here and they're basically saying if anyone is like regularly griefing or like fake reporting people for griefing stuff like that they're going to take a really hard stance on it so they just it looks like they really want to stamp that out and i think overall it's good but like i said it does take away that 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 fear you know which definitely takes something away from the hardcore experience for sure dungeons so dungeons are going to have a 24 hour lockout uh, i'm concerned that people will just rotate as many dungeons as they can constantly in groups and this is another thing, right? I don't know if they've said anything about max group size. I think that if they actually allow larger groups, people are just going to go around in groups of five, right? Just AOE grinding and grinding groups of five and just remove so much of the risk factor that makes makes hardcore interesting. So I think that rewarding solo play and, and potentially even duo play, if they're going to allow larger groups in the world, I think... They have to reward solo and, and duo play more just because it's more risky, right? We don't really want to see a repeat of, of Classic 60 where you literally just had people dungeon farming all the way up to 60 and, and ignoring most of the questing because that would be a shame. I think that the questing is sort of an integral part of, of Classic and being able to bypass that, just doing something else that somehow happens to be better in terms of the meta that's more boring overall, let's be honest, would be a shame. Uh, but yeah, I think maybe the 24-hour locker should be enough to, to, to stop that, but we'll have to see. Um, power leveling and stuff is not going to be not going to work due to less xp uh debuff and buff limit is removed i think that's fine i think this was stupid anyway you can't bubble hearth i think that's fine as well you know soul stone doesn't work you know shaman ang doesn't work i think bubble half working makes paladin very trivial i think that's a good remove duel to the death this is really interesting this is what kind of gave me the idea about uh other server options but yeah right now you can basically do a duel to the death and it's just a normal duel but you can actually kill the player and the the, the kill is permanent right 
which is spicy as hell. You know, you gotta have balls to be doing that regularly, especially especially at higher levels. You gotta be, be really uh, really confident you're gonna beat someone. I think that not a lot of these will actually happen because mostly it will be a better player dueling a worse player. The worst player will know that they're dueling a better player and won't agree to it. And if it's two good players, then they know they both know that there's insane risk coming with that duel and likely won't agree to it. But it will be interesting to see if if there are actually any of these uh, regularly taking place as it does give you a buff when you kill someone. So you might see players of, you know, 10, 20 buffs, which would be really cool. It does say you have to be level 10 at least to get the buff. So you could just have somebody like spam leveling and win trading it, I suppose. I think level 20, uh, level 10 is potentially a little bit low. Maybe it needs to be level 20 or something, but that does devalue the buff slightly. You know, there's a big difference between dueling somebody at level 60 or something, getting a win and, you know, dueling somebody at level 10, 10 times, you know, and getting 10 wins, right? So, I think they potentially need a little bit more depth in terms of that. Right? Maybe instead of stacks, they could do like points or something. So depending on the level of the player that you actually kill, you get more points. Something like that could be cool. Uh, all content is going to be unlocked. Uh, I think that's good. I think that's fine. I, I don't like the, the gating system at all. It's going to be really interesting to see how fast people can actually go through the content. And it's an actual race rather than being constantly limited. So this is this is going to be really interesting. I like this. Uh, and this this is just the griefing stuff again. But yeah, what I was going to mention is is they should have this Care Bear PVE version, right? Where there's no griefing, nothing. I think that's fine. But they should also open a, uh, a hardcore PvP server version where the first zones are, are safe zones up to like level 10 or whatever, right? The, the initial starting zone is a safe zone. After that, you can encounter any other player in the world and fight them if you want to regardless of faction it's basically like mercenary mode and if you kill them you loot their shit all their shit everything right including quest items so it's gonna really really encourage actually fighting and being constantly aware there's other players out in the world the thing that they would need to actually do though is you wouldn't be able to have zones anywhere near as populated as they are now you'd have to you'd have to uh reduce the number of players in any given zone due through the you know the phasing that tech that they already have so that you know encountering another player is relatively rare you'd have to have like a solo server and maybe a duo server something like that uh which wouldn't overlap because otherwise you'd have two players coming in and killing one you could have have a five-man server if you want but i think that would just get crazy i just i just remember doing a, a poe race once and it was like a three a three-man poe race and we were just leveling up through the through the zones and you would occasionally find another group and you would fight this other group and you'd get all their stuff and you'd get like experience i think even from it um you know you'd level up you'd get stronger just by fighting other people you'd find some rare stuff just because they'd find some rare stuff off someone they'd killed you know and it would it would kind of uh, escalate that way and i think that was one of the most fun things i've ever done in any game i i wasn't expecting it but it was absolutely insane it was so so fun so i think something like that would actually pop off for now we've just got the pve pve servers that are, as I said, a, a less griefed version, I guess, of the current hardcore experience. I The main thing I'm concerned, I'm not as concerned about that. The main thing I'm concerned about is, are they going to allow five-man grouping in the world? Because I think that is going to devalue and make the whole experience way too easy uh, and rem remove a lot of the sort of the feeling and, and risk and danger behind you know what hardcore actually is supposed to be so that's yeah that's just my opinion on on the on the rules it looks like fun hopefully it comes soon i, I just hope they don't leave it too late